Hello students, how are you doing? Welcome to Spring 2011 uh, Business Statistics ISDS 2000. Uh, I'm your instructor, uh, Joan McGrory, Dr. Joan, and um, so I thought I'd just take a minute, say hello to you, give you a really brief overview of the class. Now you're in the online section, so today's the first day of class. You need to jump in and get started, and throughout the semester, uh, make a schedule because uh, I can't really prompt you to get started and to do your work unless you log on and are attempting the assignment. So you got to kind of come into our room, which is pause, and you see pause around you here, and I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad you've made it into the system. As you scroll down the page, I want to point out to you, I've printed this off, and, and for you, you're going to see it in color, um, this big picture here with all the um, uh, items on it. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that. And I want you to really explore this pause system. Um, up above me, if this video uh, is embedded into the correct place, you'll see links for content. Very important. Explore those links and go through each one of those. You'll see links for discussion board and for Dropbox. Don't just click on Dropbox, but continue to click so that you see the assignment instructions for each item in the Dropbox. Uh, look at quizzes, look at grades, all that. Now, as you look at this and you want to read this and you may want to print it off yourself, um, it's going to give you an overview of the class. I call it a graphical syllabus. And it says the first thing you need to do is to read, and that is just so important. Now, read your textbook, but also look at the content area. You have some great resources in the content area of PAUSE. I'm going to give you my lecture slides that I use in a traditional class. You can go through those slides and see examples or see basically the notes that I've made about the chapter that I would present to students in a regular class. You'll also see something that says uh, narrated slides that are, are provided by the textbook manufacturer. In that way, you'll see slides, but it, it's narrated. It's got a voice. It's got closed captions. So if you're at work, you can read along. So those are two different lecture formats the PowerPoint slides that I provide, as well as PowerPoint slides that are provided by the textbook. Um, I give you links throughout the semester in the different chapters. You'll see links to YouTube videos, like this one, that can help you with your problem solving. So be sure to take a look at that. Now, as you read and after you read, and maybe even before you read, you will see that we have pause quizzes. Now. Once upon a time, I counted the, the points for the pause quizzes at a much higher level than I do now. Basically, it's a five-question quiz, and what I'm asking you to do is just make sure that you have some of the same concepts down that I have. And the quiz questions, even though it's just five little bitty questions, are my way of bringing things up to you that you may not have thought about before. You know. One of the problems with learning is that if you feel that you already know it, you read the book and you say, I, I think I understand, how do you know that you need to investigate a certain concept further unless you find that you are um, missing a question, not answering something correctly? So that's what the quiz is designed to do. It's just to bring up a couple little items that help you highlight the fact that maybe you're not understanding, maybe you do need to go back and uh, read the quiz results. Now you'll notice underneath the quiz, there's a little arrow and some items there, and it says 85 plus. What that means is for that little bitty five question quiz, you can take it as many times as you'd like, over and over and over, get the highest grade possible. In fact, if you get a hundred, and then you take it again, and you make like a five, guess what? I am just going to count the 100. I only count the highest grade that you earn. So if you have a couple minutes and you just want to play around and take one of those little five question quizzes, do it. It's not going to hurt your grade. I only record the highest one. Now, you're saying to yourself, that can't be right. What's the catch? Here's the catch. You have to make an 85 or above. Okay, or else 
I will give you a grade of zero for that five points. Okay, so take it as many times as you want, but you have to take it at least until you score 85 percent or above. The system will tell you the grade as soon as you click the submit button, and it'll be recorded, and I only record the very highest grade. Okay, so that's one thing to help get you started and maybe, you know, push you into the reading a little bit. After you read, you're going to need to work on your homework assignments. Now, in the back of your chapter, there are problems that I could assign. And in the olden days, what we would do is we would assign you problems. One, three, five, seven, nine, the odd number problems. Do you know why we would do that? We would do that because the answers were in the back. And what we would basically be telling you to do is to grade yourself and make sure you've got all that worked out. Well, technology came along, and it helped us to do things in a, in a better manner. The technology that we're going to use is called Connect. What Connect is, is it's a separate website that you go to. I've listed the website on the home page of this course, and so you should see that. Copy and paste. Don't click. Copy and paste that link into a new browser window. Bookmark it because you're going to be coming in and out of that all the time. And make sure that you're in the right section. When you open that web page, it should sound and it should say spring 2011, but the website is different for every class section. So make sure that you are in the right section, the online section. Okay. If you bought your textbook from the bookstore, then the Connect code was bundled into that package, probably, depending on how you bought it. And you'll go through the steps to create your login. If you got your book some other way, then you can purchase the code online. You need a credit card to do it, but you'll follow the steps and you'll find that it's, uh, you know, it's just following along. Okay, it's just doing what the website tells you to do. Very easy process to follow. If you didn't do well in the class last semester, it's possible that your access code is still activated. Um, what you would do, don't use the code, use the login that you created last semester. Simply log into our site. You'll be prompted, do you want to join this class section? You would say yes. Okay, so you get into the Connect site. And I have picked some problems from your textbook, and they'll appear in this Connect website. No, if you are working problem 3-8 and the, somebody else, your, maybe your sister or brother is taking this with you or you have a best friend and you're taking the course together with them, they will have the exact same problem. But the numbers that are used in your problem will be different than the numbers used in their problem. So there's a little bit of variety there. You'll solve the problem. You'll type in the answer. The system will immediately grade it, and you'll know how you did you don't have to wait for me to manually grade things, and uh, you'll know you'll get the feedback right away. It even tells you you have a check my work button so you can find out right at that minute if you're correct or not. Here's the thing though don't memorize the answer to the problem. Because if, if you're saying yes, but, but the answer to number 3 8 is 7, it's not going to be 7 next, next time because the numbers that are used in the problem are going to change. They're randomly generated. So next time when you work the problem, you'll follow the same steps. That's what we're trying to teach you. You follow the same steps to solve that problem. But the answer, of course, will be whatever you calculate using those steps. So don't memorize answers. Learn the process. That's what we're after. So Connect is homework and test problems.